we have prepared the rabbit. Here's barbecue rabbit. And then this is rabbit stew. The reason I pick recipes like this for rabbit is because to me, rabbit is dry. The flavor of any meat that you're not used to, it tastes like chicken. Well, in this case, I would say that cliche fits. Rabbit does taste a lot like white meat chicken. However, to me, it's more dry. And because of that, I prefer rabbit recipes that add a good dose of some sort of condiment on the meat to keep it juicy, to keep it from drying out. Hoppers. I'm the only one up so far this fine Saturday morning. We had a long day yesterday. We took Malachi to a pediatrician's appointment. It was his first appointment with this particular pediatrician and he had a, two vaccination shots and then we visited a health food store on the way to get lunch and then I worked for a couple of hours and then we went to my office's holiday slash Christmas party and then we had a viewing that we attended for a co-worker's wife who unexpectedly passed this week and then we met up with Squishy Squash Edible Landscapes. We had dinner with them at Fork in the Road in Arlington and then we went over to a Starbucks just to hang out and chit chat for a bit more. I'm going to go ahead and link to their video. We hope you check it out, see what they do, see what they're all about because they're really great people and they feel passionate about installing edible landscapes and gardens for people. My plan for today's video was to show you a couple of rabbit dishes that we made um, about a month ago for a church event with the rabbits that we butchered. But I'm having difficulty finding the printout that I had of the recipe for the rabbit stew that I made. So if I can't find it, I'll have to search for it online. But for now, we'll go ahead and take out some compost and release the chickens. Good morning, Nala. Morning, kitty cats. Meow. Meow. Kittens. Sweetie boos. Hey, bunny boos. Good morning, Colt. Hey, kitty boos. And there's the third kitten. So, if you watch the video that Justin posted, um, I believe yesterday, we are now down to three kittens. One was taken by a predator, we think, because Justin saw a, um, a hawk, I believe he said, around. And then a little while later, he only saw the four kittens at the compost pit. Oh, I was hoping that would bust, but apparently it didn't. That's okay. The chickens, if they want it, they'll peck at it and break it apart. Now to empty the container. Good morning, Chief and Astro. How are y'all? How are you boys doing? Mm. Hopefully soon you'll be able to see a short segment of ours in a compilation being done by White House on the Hill. And it's of us releasing chickens. We submitted that to them yesterday. So hopefully that will be coming soon. When it does, we'll make sure to link to their video under one of our videos. And of course the chickens go over near the rabbits to see what feed the rabbits have dropped or what fun stuff they can find in the poop. And one chicken jumped over the fence. She tends to uh, like to escape. And Colt had her one day. I figured Colt wouldn't get her, but he decided that she was a prize worthy to be won. But thankfully he didn't hurt her. 
and he promptly got put in his pen because we can't have that on the homestead. <laughs> that was funny, Socks. I hear a little one. Hi, kitty boo. Hi, George. Hey, sweeties. I'm back inside now where it's a little bit warmer. I'm going to try to look for that rabbit stew recipe really quick. Before I can do that, though, I hear that the washing machine has finished its cycle, so I better hang out those clothes. And then I'll be back. In the meantime, why don't y'all check out this video of that rabbit stew and the barbecue rabbit. So we have prepared the rabbit. Here's barbecue rabbit. And that was a full rabbit. The two that we butchered the other day. And then this is rabbit stew. Yum. We're taking them to the beast feast at church today. We've already tasted that. It's good stuff. Ha ha ha. I found it. It was in our kombucha log book. The recipe comes from Rachel Cook's Slow Cooker Creamy Chicken and Wild Rice Soup. Now, if you notice, it says chicken, but I just substituted the rabbit for the chicken. And the reason I picked this particular stew recipe or soup recipe was because it looked like a hearty meal and it looked like all the ingredients would pair well with the rabbit meat. This particular recipe includes wild and brown rice, chicken or rabbit if you want to substitute in a different protein, a large onion, celery, carrots, bay leaves, parsley, thyme, sage, garlic powder, black powder, salt, chicken stock, water, heavy cream, and milk or water to help thin the soup to the consistency that you like. Now I did make a couple of changes. Instead of using heavy cream, I substituted cream cheese and added milk to it, stirred it in a pan over the stove until the cheese melted into the milk, kind of like a roux but without the flour, and then I poured that into the soup after it had cooked overnight. Um, so really, I put I added it into the stew um, just long enough that it would heat up well um, and get warm before we took it to the event. Because if I'd added it too early, then the milk or cheese might have curdled or scalded and it just wouldn't have had the right flavor. So you want to add those dairy products in right before it's time to serve, but early enough that it has time to heat through. Another thing is we had some sweet potatoes left over um, from our harvest. And so I added in some sweet potatoes and then some store-bought um, russet potatoes or red potatoes. I forget which one it was. Um, anyway, and it ended up being excellent. I just chopped up the items, um, stored them in the refrigerator until we took it to my grandmother's. And then when it was time to fix it, I, I started in the late evening to put all the ingredients except for the cream in the crock pot. And that included a full rabbit um, in those ingredients. Let it cook overnight. And then in the morning, I deboned the rabbit and shredded the rabbit meat, added it back to the stew. And then again, a little bit later, I added in the cream cheese milk mixture. And it turned out really well. Please make sure to check the description below for the link for that particular recipe. Again, remembering that it calls it a chicken soup, and all we did was replace the chicken with rabbit meat. It was a hearty soup, and it had um, kind of a delicate flavor. It wasn't quite as umami, I would say, as the barbecue rabbit, and the barbecue rabbit recipe was even more simple. All I did was put the rabbit 
in the crock pot and then we slathered it with barbecue sauce and put a little extra um, so that the heat wouldn't crisp the barbecue. You want it to be there um, in enough proportion that it stays warm without burning to the sides. And then let that cook overnight and the same thing the next morning I deboned it and added the rabbit meat back into the crock pot and then um, or slow cooker maybe I should say since technically crock pot is a brand um, and then added additional barbecue sauce to it mixed it up with the shredded rabbit and then um, heated it and took it to the the event Justin did say that the barbecue rabbit was his preference over the stew and I think a major reason for that is your barbecue rabbit is going to be as good as your barbecue sauce is so if you pick a really tasty barbecue sauce like for example we had a honey barbecue sauce your barbecue rabbit's going to taste pretty good i'm not a huge fan of baked rabbit it i mean it can be good and you if you braise it and like put the juices back on the meat it, it makes it taste better but i just prefer to have the meat be a protein source but really what I'm mostly tasting is the sauce that's with the rabbit if you're wondering where we source our rabbit meat we grow it here on cooker gehoofed homestead if you want to see how we go about that process of getting the meat from meat pen to freezer please feel free to check out our video the first rabbit butchering at cooker gehoofed now you will have to search for it specifically by that title or go to our playlist called those wascally wabbits to be able to view it we can't link it in a card here or in the at the end of this video and that's because that particular video has been age restricted by youtube so you'll have to just do a little bit more work to get to that particular video now i will caution you that video shows the whole process so if you don't want to see a certain portion of it please fast forward through any parts that you might find uncomfortable it's there for educational purposes and to share with y'all our experience with our first rabbit butchering here on the homestead I do hope that soon we will be able to show you a few more recipes using rabbit meat however we will have to wait until we have a few more rabbits to be able to put into the freezer or the refrigerator before we would be able to do that in the meantime if you want to be able to check out a few more rabbit recipes please check out living traditions homestead they are currently showcasing recipes from their recipe cookbook that they have for sale she's doing i think about one recipe a week showing how she does the process to cook those particular recipes her cookbook is actually a rabbit recipe cookbook so there are 25 recipes of different ways that she prepares rabbit for her family they're also a really good youtube channel and they've got an excellent playlist on their methods of raising rabbits as a protein source for the family sometimes it seems like there's always sad news on the homestead while i was editing this video and bear in mind this was only a couple of hours after shooting these clips justin came in and told me that another one of the kittens was killed by a predator and it looks like it was a bird of prey most likely a hawk because he saw a hawk flying from the tree and it had just happened so we've buried yet another kitten so now we are down to two <laughs> Hoppers, thanks for watching the video push the thumbs up to like the video also hit that subscribe button also the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out check us out on our social media pages too we have Facebook and Pinterest and soon we'll have Instagram the links are below bye y'all <laughs>